y'all. Welcome back to Far Side of Normal, home of Supernatural the Cleaners. I am Stacy, the creator and your host. Let's jump into it. First things first. Yay! I voted! Woo, loo, 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 loo. Yesterday, I went to the polls um, and did early voting. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. There was a line and it was a long line, but the process was fairly quick, which I guess it wasn't surprising, but I was encouraged by that. The poll workers were really on top of it. They were making sure that everybody had their information out, that they were kind of moving the lines, making sure that people were practicing social distance. And they were also wiping down anything that moved. I thought if I stood still too long, they would probably wipe me down. But it was clean. The booths themselves were spaced out apart so that, again, you could still practice social distance even when casting your vote. And then when you placed the ballot in the scanner, did all your ta-da, you got your sticker, and then out the door you went. So there was one place to come in, do all you had to do, the move through the line part, and then place your ballot, scan, out the door in another direction. By the time I got out, it was a party, so I think I got while the getting was good. Vote, vote, vote. Show up to vote like you mean it. Show up to vanquish evil like the Winchesters do. We're just fighting a different form. Now, on to Supernatural. Oh my gosh, you guys. Last week was such a long time in waiting, but it was worth the wait. If you haven't watched the episode, spoiler alert, so don't finish this video. Yeah. If you haven't watched <laughs> last week's episode, then yeah, there's just spoilers. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but let's jump in it. First of all, how great was it to have them back? It's been so long since we've had a new episode. And yes, watching season 15, getting caught up again in preparation was one thing, but to have a new episode was everything. And I have to say, it was a really great one. <laughs> it seems as if it was the perfect comeback episode because it was fun and light and it was a nod to how they started out. You know, just the boys, monster of the week, let's crush stuff, let's get it. And then Miss Butters. I loved her, but I was nervous the whole time because you know... All good things literally must come to an end. That's <laughs> supernatural. And so I loved her, but I was scared the whole time. And I just thought, oh, when is the other shoe going to fall? It's stressful. It was also fun live tweeting with people because we all agreed that we needed Mrs. Butters. And then we were like, wait a minute, never mind. We were just kidding when she went sideways. <laughs> Dean was so crushed. We had such a good thing going. I know, but. Here's some of my favorite parts are our highlights from the episode. Again, spoiler alert, all up in the place. The first thing I loved was when the bunker was at full capacity power-wise. How great is that, that you have a monster radar and the telescope? Because I always thought, are we looking at stars? Like, what are we doing? When she said that that was an <laughs> intergalactic telescope, and then Dean was like, well, there's nothing there. Oh, that made my heart stop. I thought, dang it, man. But it was cool because for the longest, I've always wondered, what's the telescope for? It was also encouraging that you got to see other parts of the bunker. It was fun that she was like the mom and dad all rolled into one that the boys always needed and that they got to celebrate all of the seasons and holidays in one fell swoop. That was super encouraging. Their little lunch bags with their initials was so fun because it would be something that Mary, if she had lived, would have hopefully done as she sent the boys off to school every day. You know, make their little sandwich and their little treats and then send them off to school in peace. We know that didn't happen, but in a perfect world, in the Winchester world, that would have been the case. That was fun to see her mother them because they need it. And also Jack, that he came out of his room and he talked to her and he got loved up on until it went sideways. Oh, dang it, man. The thing that made me sad, where was Kaz? He should have been in on this. I'm just saying, he should have been on the whole thing for every holiday, for the birthday cake. Oh, that hurt my feelings. 
the second thing that hurt my feelings is how she turned and it started with Jack. Dang it, man. That just hurt my heart because he's already wrestling with the boys working through trying to forgive him. That made me sad. It made me laugh <laughs> when Dean was thinking, dang it, man. And then he got thrown in there. But it was also fun when he used Jack to inadvertently break out of the <laughs> dungeon. So that was fun. It was also encouraging that Sam was going on a date with Eileen. Yay! That was cute and how he was a little bit nervous and then he came back. And it was fun because she said, you were always my favorite. I love that. And that Dean was trying so hard not to curse <laughs> when that's literally his personality and nature. But overall, it was a really fun episode. Um, I even appreciated how they sent her in peace instead of dealing with her like they would have maybe in the past when they weren't as mature. You're a monster. You're dead. The end of the story. I appreciated that they let her go back home and go in peace. I knew something was going to be off when Dane Gomet, that man of letters punk monkey that had Dean as a trophy in his man cave craziness, had her in the mix. When Jack saw that tape and when they did the throwback to the men of letters, I thought, dang it, here we go. It was also sweet that Jack gave her the picture that was hanging on the wall kind of as a reminder of, you know, the good times. And I love that she said, my boys, that was endearing to me that she called the British men, of, not the British men, the men of letters, her boys, because that's what we call Sam and Dean and Jack and Misha, i.e. Cassiel. They're our boys. I love that episode. I feel as if, uh, and I hate saying it, but I know it's going to be true, that may be the last time that we get to see light and fun and the boys relax before it all goes downhill. So in that vein, that's probably one of my new favorite episodes of Supernatural. Yay, Mrs. Butters. Go team. That's all I got, you guys. I am trying to prepare for tomorrow. And I'm a little bit stressed because I know all good things must come to an end. Until next week, you guys, remember, show up to vote. The hashtag show up to vote is on Twitter. It's on Facebook. I'm going to be posting every couple of days a PSA for the new kids on the block or young kids. They're like, what's a PSA? Public service announcement to vote. Um, they're lighthearted and fun, but they underscore the seriousness of vote like you mean it. Our leaders, our fearless leaders, Misha, Jarrett Jensen, all of our cast are reminding us to vote. It is important. We are doing what the Winchesters would do. <laughs> We're fighting bad guys just in a different form. With that, stay safe, show up to vote, be prepared for tomorrow, and we'll talk next week, sweet Deans and sweet Sams.